Dickies is Dallas based. We've been around for 70 years. And then we started franchising. We didn't really have this grand plan. This guy came in and said, you know what? We love your food. We've been eating here for years. Uh, you know, it looks like you guys make money. How about I open a franchise store? And so we did it. And the next thing you knew, we were close to filling out the Dallas-Fort Worth area. So about seven years ago, we started growing our brand out of Dallas and then out of Texas. And it's been awesome. If you'd asked me 10 years ago, if you said, hey, Roland, where are y'all gonna start growing outside Texas the fastest? I wouldn't have said the San Francisco Bay Area because I thought out there they just ate tofu and edible flowers. Not true. They love barbecue. With barbecue, it can go from an, an A plus to an F minus at 100 miles an hour. Barbecue people, they get emotional about it. They have a place that they love or they have a place that they hate. And people that actually cook barbecue, they all think that they have the very best recipes and they know how to do it the best. Well, actually, Dickies, we actually know that we really do have the best recipe. When you take a, a meat fork and you stick it in a, a brisket that's on your pit that you think is ready to come off, there's a touch, there's a feel to it, and you've got to know if that thing is ready to come off. You've got to be able to teach that to people, and that takes time, and it takes repetition. We started a university to teach people how to, how to become experts at barbecue our way, and we call it Barbecue U. So we'll buy about 8 million pounds of beef brisket this year. Um, Cage-free chicken, um, hormone-free beef, uh, gestation-free pork, and so we that has become a portion of the, the proteins, and, and barbecue is a protein-driven menu, that we purchase. And so in every single month, we're upping that percentage by a little bit, and our eventual goal is to get to where we're 100% wholesome and humane. We're also going with 100% reclaimed and recyclable packaging, which we're going to launch in the fourth quarter of this year. And I think that's where the whole industry is going, and so, you know, over the next decade or so, and so, you know, do you want to be ahead of the curve or behind the curve? Our ultimate goal, you ask? Well, global domination, okay? One restaurant time. But eventually, the light of great barbecue will shine through to everybody on the globe. <laughs>